that this device was very easy to set up. And like most people, I was debating whether to get an Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku, and ultimately I went with the Roku because I like the specs. So let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. So first, it's 1080p and 720p capable. It does have a quad-core processor and 802.11ac wireless capable. So the side of the box talks about the simple setup. Plug in the HDMI, you'll establish an internet connection, and then you'll start enjoying. As you'll see, I'll go through this entire setup. You'll see how simple it actually is. So when we first open the box, of course you can see the Roku stick, and right beneath that there is a quick start guide. Then of course you got your USB plug adapter, your USB to micro USB cable, and then you got your remote with batteries. First things first, go ahead and put the batteries in the remote, but leave the cover off because you will need to hit this button down at the bottom here in order to sync it later. So your Roku stick will plug into the HDMI port on the side of the TV. Then there's a micro USB port on the end of the Roku stick. You want to plug in the micro USB connector into that port. Now you can plug in the USB connector into the adapter for the plug. However, I actually have USB ports on the side of my TV, which you can use as well. Then you go ahead and select the HDMI port that you're actually using. And the first screen will actually have you pair your remote, which is why I had you leave the cover off. Again, you will click this button, which is right underneath the cover. Then the Roku Enhanced Remote Pairing will begin. Once this is complete, you will come to this screen, where you'll select your language of preference. All right, once you do that, it'll go ahead and start scanning for wireless. It'll find all the SSIDs, within your area. Go ahead and select the SSID that you would like to connect to. And it's gonna have you type in your password. Once you've typed in your password, you can go ahead and hit connect. And it'll go through and start establishing your connection. Once this is complete, there's gonna be an update more than likely if you just pulled it out of the box. Go ahead and hit okay and it will go through and finish the update. The Roku will reboot and you'll have to hit the OK button on your remote at this screen. Now the Roku wants to determine what display type you have. So you'll hit auto detect display type and hit OK go to automatic and then right here you're going to want to go up and select yes screen looks good. Then it's going to go in and have you test the remote settings. So you'll select check remote settings. And then if everything's correct, you'll hear music playing. You'll go ahead and select yes, music is playing. Then you'll see a success screen that lets you know that your remote is now set up to control your power and volume on your TV. Go ahead and hit okay. So this part is where you're gonna have to finish the setup with a PC. And it gives you some basic instructions on your TV screen. You'll visit roku.com backslash link you're gonna have to type in this code in order to confirm your device and now let me take you through the PC portion so to create a Roku account you open up Chrome or Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer in the address bar you're gonna type in roku.com forward slash link All right, hit enter. Once your page loads, it's gonna ask you for the link code. And the link code is displayed on your TV screen. Once you enter the code, you can check the box or you can go ahead and click the link to read the end user license agreement. Then hit submit. And at this time, it'll ask, do you have a Roku account? Most of you will not, unless you have a Roku already. So we'll click, no, I need to create one. And you will go through and complete the form. I will go ahead and do this. 
and skip to the next part. Once you complete the form and hit continue, it will take you to another page that requires you to set a personal identification number. Go ahead and set that and click continue. Once you click continue, the next page will load. And as you can see, it allows you to put your credit card information so you can make purchases. Go ahead and complete that and hit continue. The next page will take you to a location to where you can add channels. Go through, deselect any channels that you do not want and hit continue. The next page that shows up allows you to sign in or sign up for each one of your services. Uh, if you have Hulu account, if you have Amazon accounts, if you have a Vudu account, you can go ahead and sign into those at this time. Once you do that, go ahead and hit continue and you are done. Now when you take a look at your TV, you're going to see that it's all done. All right, so the first screen that loads up will be your home screen. And pretty much this will be where all your channels are located. There's also a My Feed section. There's the Movie Store by Fandango where you can go and purchase movies. There's the TV Store by Fandango, of course, where you can get TV shows. There is a News Link. You have the ability to search. This allows you to search for channels, shows, movies by actors and then you have your section for streaming channels such as sling then you have your settings where you can change the network the theme screensavers display type accessibility the remote settings audio home screen privacy and system well that is going to be it for this video everyone if you're thinking about getting a roku which i highly recommend i did leave a link below and if you did like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you have any friends who are thinking about purchasing the Roku, then go ahead and share this video with them. If you would like to stay updated on all my future videos, hit that subscribe button and please go ahead and select the notifications icon so that you're notified anytime I make a new video.